Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the previous video, we explored Cinnabar Island and went to the Pokemon Lab, which we'll go to in the uh, at the end of today's video as well. We also visited the Cinnabar Island Pokemon Mansion in here. We got the secret key to unlock the gym, so we can fight the Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym Leader, Blaine, the hot-headed quiz master. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be facing... <laughs> I'm laughing at this. A fire-type gym. Also known as Crush is gonna sweep. Literally, Crush is gonna go nuts. Yo, champ in the making! The hot headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Douse his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals too. Burn heals? Where we're going, we don't need burn heals. I was a thief, but I went straight as a trainer. This gym is possibly and probably going to be the easiest gym in the video game. If not the easiest, Maybe the second easiest, because holy lord, we win! Press the A button, use Surf, win the battle. This is gonna be just easy. So easy. We're fighting a burglar- does that say Vileplume? Oh, it said Volpix, okay. I was gonna say, like, why would I use a Vileplume? Oh uh, yeah, guys, this is, this is gonna be easy peasy, like, squeeze a lemon, you know, just so easy. Okay, there we go. And buddies and nine tails. Once again, all Pokemon. We just, uh, you know, we're really just here to use the same move over and over again. I'll have to run to the Pokemon Center purely to restore the power points of my move. I'm surprised Crush is so fast. By the way, Crush should not be faster than these Pokemon. These are fast Pokemon. There goes Burglar Quinn. I surrender. Okay. Let's go over here, and uh, we're in. What does this say? Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie falls into the Metapod. True. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. So that would have opened the door. Let's go ahead and uh, just bypass this guy. I'm going to go back and fight them. Pokemon quiz, right? We know the, the rules. If you want to conserve your... Oh, yep. Okay. There are nine certified Pokemon gym badges. False. There's only eight. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, do all the quizzes, get them all right so that we can show off the answers. Pokemon quiz, get it right and the door opens, get it wrong and face the trainer. Alright, so, this one, Poliwag evolves three times. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and then it goes to Poliwrath, but I don't think Poliwrath was in the game. I think that's false. Alright, later on, that's a, that's very puzzling, because later on, Poliwag does get an evolution, and in fact, it gets a split evolution. Pokemon quiz. It goes from Poliwag to Poliwhirl, and then it can go to Poliwrath or Politoad, but not in Generation 3. Or... Wait. I actually have... Huh, that's bizarre. Whatever. Uh, Electro-type moves are effective against ground-type. No. Okay. And to the next one we go, the final room right here. We will go ahead and click this. Pokemon quiz, get it right and door opens, get it wrong and face a trainer. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical, that's true. Okay, I assume that that's talking about like nature and stuff. Your Pokemon can have different natures and stuff. I've been to too many gyms, but this one best suits my style. All right. That's good. Let's go ahead and uh, clean sweep Burglar Dusty. Dusty Burglar here. And then I'm probably gonna go back and heal. Uh, actually, no, we can face more trainers, actually. We're not really in a position where we need to heal quite yet. That's a level 37 Vulpix, hot dang. Hot dang. All right. And I didn't see what that said. That's a, <laughs> I thought it said Groudon. <laughs> this guy just whips out a Groudon. No chance, not happening. We're gonna surf, and down it goes. Okay, this is gonna be so easy, guys. You know how normally for the gym battles, I get to like, I get super tense, I do like some crazy commentary, I'm like, we gotta watch out for this, and gotta watch out for that. I, I don't expect that to happen at all. I think this is gonna be just so easy. By the way, this is the gym leader. He he's, oh, he's not in here yet. There's one more uh, thing. Shoot, let's do this. Let's take this quiz, and then we can go. All right, TM28 contains Tombstoney. No, that's not a move. <laughs> okay. Is that the passage way to Blaine? That's how you can get to Blaine. Okay. Uh, let's fight this guy too. Fighters weak against H2O. 
That guy had a Vulpix and he had a Growlithe, which are very common Pokemon. We're going to be seeing just fire types after fire types after fire types. I know why Blaine became a trainer. I'm actually curious why Blaine became a trainer. Kind of an older fellow, you know? I remember actually there was a, um, there's a Rapidash, there's a horse. There was an old, um, Jaywitz video. Jaywitz is a very popular Nintendo YouTuber. I did not mean to use Protect. Um, but he, he had a video, he actually had a series, it was called Profit, and it was about uh, the Pokemon trading card game. And he interviewed, um, some, some people and he's like, oh, why'd you start playing the Pokemon trading card game? And there was this older, older gentleman uh, who said he started playing because uh, his grandkids uh, introduced him to him. Maybe he said his kids introduced it to him. Um, and from there, he basically said like, okay, this guy says, ow, he doesn't actually say why Blaine became a trainer. Oh, our, our leader Blaine became lost in the mountains. Night fell when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. It, it's light allowed Blaine to find his way down safely. That's pretty cool. Right, so he asked, you know, what got you into the Pokemon trading card game? And the guy said, uh, you know, my kids and my grandkids uh, started playing it. They introduced it to me and then they got better and I wanted to get better. And so he would like go to tournaments and stuff like by himself. I thought that was super cool. Um, I actually introduced my grandpa to the Pokemon trading card game as well. And I have some ideas. I want to do like a, um, I think it'd be pretty cool to do some sort of like a, like a, like a tabletop something. I play a lot of board games with my friends and I think like board gaming is really cool. So I would like to do some sort of a, you know, like, like a, like a video showcase of some kind of like the Pokemon trading card game or just other board games. That's a little bit of a miscellaneous topic. Doesn't really belong in this video. Um, you know, but I thought it'd be pretty interesting. Tied into Pokemon a little bit there. We're just going to continue to clean sweep out these fire type Pokemon. It's literally just free. It is free low. And Crush gets level 42. Yeah, Crush is going to get mad level. I was trying to learn Rain Dance. Rain Dance is not a move that I want. It summons rain. Just have my set of moves already. Thank you. But I use a Charmander. Okay. Charmander is the... That's a level 34 Charmander. Wowie. Goodness gracious. <laughs> That's a level 34 Charmander. Alright. Let's continue to do work here. Another Vulpix. It's alrighty. This person's name is Super Nerd Avery. Yeah, we're just... We're single hitting. There's a problem. When we, get, when we step up to Blaine, when we go to fight Blaine, it is legitimately going to be just, like, easy peasy. You surf. You surf. You surf. You surf. Four times and we win. I swear that's what it's going to be. And we're gonna get our TM, and it's gonna be, we're gonna get our seventh badge. It's wonderful. It's so wonderful. All right, here we go. Oh, also at the end of this episode, we're gonna have to go back and check on our uh, fossil. Wow, my studies were insufficient. Heck yeah, they were. You can say that again. Okay, I think we have just this guy to fight, right? Do you know how Pokemon fire breath can, how hot Pokemon's fire breath can get? Whoops, I messed up my saying. That's fine. Alright, Super Nerd Eric sends out a Vulpix. Yeah, for some reason Blaine has nerds and literal robbers in his uh, uh, his gym. I'm not sure what that's about. Speaking of nonsense, that was a really bad transition, but we actually have two Surfs left. I think now we have one, and this guy's got two Pokemon, so we're gonna have to deal with this last one not using Surf. What is the other move? Oh, Bite? Let's see if Bite works. Not as well. Oh, you loser. You loser. I give you a chance to attack and you go for confusion. It's okay, Crush is amazing. Crush has got this. You clown, Crush. Gosh. Crush has literally done more damage to herself than any of the Pokemon in this place have done in all the battles except this one. That's pretty sad. The only damage Crush took was from a single fire spin, which might not even have been... No, it was. It was in the video. This guy's got a nine tails now. My last surf is going to be on nine tails. Oh, okay. I think we're about tied for damage to self versus damage to, uh, damage from enemies. Okay, stop using quick attack, nine tails. Crush, please hit this. Please. Oh my gosh. Crush, come on. There you go. Okay. That works out really well because with that, we have defeated the last trainer of the gym and we can go heal and run right to Blaine, take on that gym leader and win. Yow, hot, hot, hot. Heck yeah. Alrighty, so we're gonna step outside briefly 
and then we will uh, just go ahead and take on the gym leader. All right, let's take the fight straight to the elderly man we call Blaine. I don't think he's actually like elderly elderly, but he's definitely the oldest gym leader we will fight in this game, for sure. I don't think he's the oldest gym leader ever though. That would probably go to Bryce from the Johto region is what occurs to me right off the top of my head. I think Price is pretty old. Hey, Blaine. Oh, I wonder, are there more, uh, there's more trivia? Wait, why couldn't I walk? Oh, never mind. No, there's no more trivia. What's this? Don't know what that is. What's this? It's a photo of Blaine and Mr. Fuji. They're standing shoulder to shoulder with big grins. I can't play any more trivia. Hey, Blaine. Hey, I'm Blaine, the hot-headed leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerated all challengers. Ha! You better have a burn heal. Silly man. I don't need a burn heal. Leader Blaine would like to battle. Leader Blaine sends out Growlithe. I, of course, am leading with Crush. Now, I've done some cheap things in gym leaders' battles in the past. I've used items. I've, you know, done some revives. I've used X items. This might be, arguably, the cheapest gym battle ever. I'm going to use just one Pokemon. We've taken out one of his members already. Now we've taken out two. You know what's funny? In order to get to this gym, you need to have a water Pokemon or a Pokemon that knows Surf. Because you have to get here through surfing. Meaning, the game is setting you up with a great water type move, Surf, and the enemy is weak to it and yet we're, we're, we're sent out this gym's a challenge it's not you get a lapras for free in in sylphco this is this battle is easy okay he's down to his last pokemon by the way <laughs> in that time for me to explain how easy this battle is i've used surf four times taken one bit of damage from a fire blast and uh yeah we we're done that's the battle guys that that's the gym battle Oh, no, 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 no. He survived. We have to be careful. It's a fire blast from Arcanine. About half health. He's going to use a potion. Hyper potion to be exact, but is it a concern of ours? No, not really. Because we can surf again. And he might use another potion? I don't know. I think he's got two, right? Yep, he's going to use another one. Okay. I could do this for like 10 more turns in a row. So, you know, pick your poison. And if you somehow knock out Crush, guess what I have? Uh, five other lives in the forms of five other teammates. <laughs> I win. I just won. <laughs> we just won. Good work, Crush. Crush gained 2,145 experience points and player defeated Leader Blaine. I have burned down to nothing. Not even my ashes remain. You have earned this volcano badge. $4,700 for winning. Ha! <laughs> The Volcano Badge uh, tight heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. I've received TM38 from Blaine. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. I don't know if he meant don't waste it on teaching it to water Pokemon or don't teach it, like, don't use it on water Pokemon. Both is good advice. Zippo. Let's check Zippo's stats. Zippo has high special attack, high regular attack. What is this? I think this was before the special physical special split. So flame wheel is special no matter what. So let's go ahead and teach our Pokemon uh, this TM. Let's teach fire blast. Cause it's, it's 120 power. Oh, but only five PP. Let's see, what can we teach instead? We'll give it to Zippo for sure, which can be replaced. We've got bite, strength, flame wheel, and takedown. I think I will get rid of Take Down and teach Fire Blast instead. It is a good fire type move and uh, I definitely want it for, for Zippo to have. Learn Fire Blast. There we go. Rock Tomb. No one can learn Rock Tomb, right? Rex can learn Rock Tomb. Was Rex always able to learn Rock Tomb? I feel like no way. Huh. Okay. Well, Rock Tomb's only got 50, so it's not really important. But anyway. Yep, that's it. So let's go ahead and take a step outside of the gym now. We'll review our gym badges and um, we'll we'll just hang out on Cinnabar Island. Although I think when we step outside, something is going to happen. Something that's going to require some explanation 
while I view the gym badges and, and whatnot. Let's go ahead and see. Am I correct in assuming that? I am. This is Bill. Huh? Hey, if it isn't Apple. Look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. Hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending some time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like going with me? Ladies and gentlemen, this is brand new content exclusive to Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green. They are remakes of the original Kanto games. However, this whole area is a completely optional side quest. And I'm going to say no. What? Are you too busy? Well, alright, the boat hasn't even arrived yet anyway. I'll be waiting at the Pokemon Center over there. Come see me when you're done with some business here. Th that is a branch of the game called the Sevi Islands. S-E-V-I-I. -I. There's Bill, by the way, if you want to talk to him. Uh, and I'm going to save that for post-game content. I believe I can do that. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, I'm not wrong. Uh, obviously, you know, it's scaled to this area of the game. Uh, but I am interested in doing the Sevi Island stuff later on. And so that's my plan. Yeah, so there's one island, two island, three island, four island, five island, six island, and seven island. As well as a couple of other ones that are uh, something we'll talk about later on. Hello! You're late! Where were you? Wait, he said you late! This is Aerodactyl. Do you want a nickname? No. Yeah, but he said you late. He didn't say you're late, he said you late. That's a grammar error. What was I playing? I was playing Spongebob the Game of Life, speaking of board games, I was talking about that earlier, with my friends. And, you know, you spin the wheel, and it's like, oh, if you pick the numbers 1, 4, 7, and 10, then you get the prize. But this one said 23, 5, 7, instead of 2, 3, 5, 7. Anyway. Hey, check it out. Here is our gym badges. We played for 16 hours, and we have 7 gym badges. That is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys run videos around. In the next episode, we're going to be heading north here onto Route 21. Let's take a quick look at the town map to show off that. Yep, we'll be going north back to Pallet Town. A very, very uh, great way to wrap up this leg of the journey. But yeah, I'm going to catch you guys all back here next time. Until then, as always, take care.